safe now. Are you okay? No. Listen to me. To the south of here, there's a camp at Lost Lake. It's nothing like the Hot Springs. Iron Mike, he's not like Mrs. Tucker. I hated Mrs. Tucker. <laughs> no, you wouldn't be alone there. This is a nice camp, and it's a safe place. Okay. Hold on. Ricky! Ricky, come back! Ricky, are you still on this channel? Lost Lake Camp, come in. Deacon? Ugh, long time no here. What do you want? Just... meet me, okay? On the Cascade Highway where it intersects with the old Belknap Road. I'm heading there now. You know what Iron Mike said? The night you would lose Brood out of here? Uh, oh yeah. That. Uh, listen! That's why I radioed you and not Schizo. Iron Mike doesn't even have to know about this. I got a kid here. What? Well, I mean, not a kid. Uh, a survivor. She's been out here a long time. You've got a survivor, and you're bringing her to Lost Lake. No, you're bringing her to Lost Lake. I'm bringing her to you. Ricky, you there? Yeah, okay. I'm on my way. Lost Lake out. Ricky? Uh, yeah, okay. You're welcome. You're gonna like it there, kid. It's like I said, Iron Mike, he's, um, uh, he likes to yell a lot. Look, don't let him bother you. Got that? Uh, anyway, there's this guy named Schizo. If he bothers you at all, well, just tell Ricky. Or, uh, tell Addy. She's the camp's doctor. You tell her. And Addie's, she's good. She's got medicine, you know, to clean up those, uh, to clean up those cuts. I mean, you don't want to get infected. They're gonna help you out, kid. You can count on them, even if you, uh, you know, even if you screw up. All right. Hey, Ricky. Hey, Deke. I'm surprised. What, did Tucker give up the slave trade? Uh, Lisa, this is uh, Ricky. She's gonna uh, take you to a safe place. Nothing has changed, Deke. Iron Mike is not gonna pay you for this. Pay me for, oh, come on. That's not, excuse me. That's not what this is about. It's not about collecting a bounty or anything. Can you mm -hmm. just, just take her? Huh? What's wrong with her, Deke? What's wrong with her? She was, had to run in with some rippers. I had to. Hey, Lisa. Hi, I'm Ricky. Listen, do you like to go fishing? 
I love fishing. It's, it's my favorite thing in the whole wide world. Would you want to go fishing with me? Yeah? Come on, I'm gonna tell you about Lost Lake. It has the clearest water you have ever seen. And the fish, oh my God. The fish in the morning, they jump this high. I'll show you. When we go, we're gonna have such a good time. Make sure you hold on tight, okay? Ready? I really appreciate it. They're coming. Oh, they're gonna... They won't know. Wait, they're on me. Sugar? Wizard, what's going on? No! How'd you get in here? Whoa, 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 whoa. You stay right there! Wizard, it's me. You stay there. It's Deke. Let's just Don't calm you come down. any closer. Let's just I talk. will kill you. It's all right. Oh, oh my God! God. Oh, oh, my God. God. No, no, I will not! I heard him. I heard voices. Oh, shit. Oh, you, you, you heard him, right? No, I didn't hear shit, Boozer. You no, get blood poisoning. I, I do not. Yes, you do, Boozer. Just take a look. I don't need to take a look. Come on, I'm... we gotta get you some help. Look, I don't need some. Come on. I don't need help. <sighs> I'm sorry about that. About trying to blow your head off. I, I mean... I thought I saw something, you know? Easy. Hey, watch the steps. I got this. It was, it was in my head, you know? <clears throat> yeah, yeah, I know, I know. I could hear him, Deke. I, I could hear him, Deke. Footsteps just pounded in my head. Boots. Just a few more steps. I don't need any help. I can goddamn walk. I can walk. Okay. Okay. I, I just... I don't, I don't know what happened. I, I saw him. Yeah. Now, come on. Come on. Get on. We gotta go. Wait. Wait, wait. What? Where are we going? I, I don't... It's just a short ride. Boozer. It'll help clear your head. Right? Yeah, yeah, okay. That'd be good. Here, okay. <laughs> what are you doing? Nothing. Uh, figured you'd get all prettied up before heading in. Oh, you know. Yeah, I figured I'd... Stop in the lodge, have a few beers, and then just stroll into the infirmary. No, 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 no. I'm just, just sick of it. <sighs> no. no, I don't care. I'm just fucking with you. Hey, Deke. Mm -hmm. Mike said he'd kill you if he ever saw you again. Uh, and if he said that it... That old man doesn't remember his name half the time. No, no, no. Hey, he'll hey. remember. You gotta stay awake. We're off the open road, but of a freaker oh, wonders yeah, back. Yeah, yeah, I know. Mm. All right. Hey, Deke. Yeah. Don't you kill anyone in the camp, okay? 
not gonna kill anyone. You good? Never better. Same as me. <laughs> ah, damn it. <laughs> Hi, Ricky. Hi, Addie. Uh, I don't want any trouble. So if you ladies just step aside, I'll show you. No, no, what, what the hell are you doing, doing in my uh -uh. infirmary? Oh, are you gonna shoot me now? <gasps> oh, wait, wait, wait. There's a code, right? You can't shoot a woman unless you have to. Well, now you have to. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, look, why don't you just let me explain? Check what's in the cooler. <sighs> what are you, selling narcotics for Tucker now? You know, when you brought me that girl, I thought you had changed. But clearly you haven't. No, it's not narcotics. What? It's antibiotics. Boozer's sick. He's got blood poisoning. I had no place else to go. Blood poisoning? What happened? Does it matter? I fucked up. Bring him in. Go and get him. Bring him here. No, we can't do that. Yes, we can. Look, I don't care who he is, and I don't care what Iron Mike thinks. When a man is sick, a man is sick. We have to look out for each other. Baby is all we got. Come on, I'll give you a ride. Which way we headed? You remember there was a small ah. camp when we first rode into the valley? Yeah, I remember. You call this a bike? It may not be a fancy drifter bike, but it gets the job done. Get on. How's she doing? The girl that I brought in, Lisa. Are you, are you gonna take me to see her? No. Oh, God damn it, Ricky. What what the hell? Why not? I can't. She's not here. Wait, wait, hold on for a second. Where is she? A few days ago, Schizo assigned her to a scavenge run. She and three others headed over to the rope camp to look for supplies. They came back without her. You're telling me they left her? They left her, out in the shit! They didn't leave anyone. They said she ran off. Jesus! It could have been anything. Wolves, freaks, rippers. Choose your poison. What? What? What was Schizo thinking, sending her out on a supply run? Everyone's gotta work deep. That's the deal, and you know it. I don't believe this shit. What? She'd been surviving in Marion Forks for years when I found her. Yeah, then maybe you should have left her there. There. Hey. Get back, don't make me blow your goddamn Loser. head off. It's me. No, get back! Oh. Hey. Hey, it's, uh, it's Ricky. <laughs> you remember me? I rode with you guys a year ago. Ricky. What? Tumalo? Yeah. That's for Tumalo to Lost Lake? Yeah. Yeah. Hold on, hold on. That's right. How, how you doing there, Boozer? You doing uh, all right? PG. It still didn't give you the right to steal our shit. Are you kidding me? Look at his arm. What was I supposed to do? Huh? I, I don't know. Maybe ask. Jesus. Look at you guys, the biker boys. The most badass drifters in this shit, right? And now you come back crawling to Iron Mike. Oh, wait. If he'll let you. <laughs> come on, just help me get him back to Addy. Let's go. 
Come on, pal. I don't need your help. Ricky. Yeah, Boozer Ricky. Hey, where, where are we going? Hattie said she's agreed to, to take a look at your arm and, and see what she can do. What? No. No, you're not taking me to some goddamn camp. I can ride, damn it. I'm not sa Damn it. Boozer, it's just for a few days. Get some shit for your arm and then... No. You know what it's like there, Deke. No, you're not thinking straight. This isn't the Hot Springs. This is Lost Lake. Iron Mike. Remember him? Iron Mike? Who's gonna get us killed? You said. That was a long time ago. They built the place up. They, they got more people. We're all gonna fucking die. We'll be long gone before anything like that happens. Camp's got the only dock in a hundred miles. Now, Addie, sit, look, she'll take care of it. Just, just a couple of days. Yeah, then we ride the hell out of here. Right north, like you said. Get the hell away from all this. Yeah. Yeah, we ride north. Leave all this shit behind. Okay, so I'm gonna go back and check on him and make sure he's okay. Coward. Yeah, you got that right. Well, how long? And until he can ride, I mean. You mean how long do you have to be here? Look, we have antibiotics, but it's not enough. Iron Mike lets you stay. Your friend will have a chance. So what happened? How'd he burn his arm like that? We ran into some rippers south of Belknap. Guess they didn't like his tattoos. Jesus. I've heard about him doing shit like that to themselves. But not to people they're trying to recruit. <sighs> Boozer wasn't any goddamn recruit. Uh, guess Tucker should have made a deal with him like Iron Mike. Come on, Ricky. He just he doesn't get it. Carlos isn't going to honor any deal with Lost Lake, not for long anyway. And Mike, he just doesn't see it. He sees more than you think. You've always had your good side, Deke. You've just been doing your best to kill it. Thanks for the vote of confidence. You cannot believe a word he is going to say. Addie is soft. Mike, we do not have enough for those that pull their own weight, let alone a goddamn cripple. He's not oh, a cripple. On. He can work. He... I say we throw them out on their asses. Mike, that is not who we are. Jesus. Listen to you. And you. You tired of being Tucker's little bitch, finally? Raymond, huh? stop it. Don't call me that. I'm pretty tired, all right. All right, See? enough! See? You know who the fuck this guy is, and you know what he... You hold on! And you! You put that shit away. Mike, Deacon was I one that know. brought me the good. I know. And I know what kind of man he is. What he's done. He done any worse than you? Ricky? How about me? We've all been out in this shit, Schizo. We've all done things we're not proud of. We need another rider. Oh, now, wait a minute. I just need a few days and some antibiotics. I'll do whatever it takes. Sure, Mike. Whatever you say, I'm on board. Walk with me. 
don't trust don't you. Don't start with me. So you're the one who brought him in. I didn't bring them in, Schizo. Boozer needed help. But he broke into the infirmary. The tackle shop isn't exactly secure. You were supposed to fix that weeks ago. Ricky oh, told so me you what? stopped running you for Tucker. Daddy, so Sent that little girl here instead. I'm sorry I lied to you before about doing runs no, for Tucker. Not my job. My job How long you been drifting? Daddy? You and Bill. I don't know. Like I said, time gets lost. If folks don't put down some roots, figure this shit out. Grow some food. Come next spring, won't be none of us left. If you give Boozer what he needs, let us hold up here till he can ride. Like I said, I will do whatever you need. I just, I, I want you to know that as soon as he's patched up, we're gonna put together some gear, we're gonna ride north. North, huh? There's a camp up there near Smith Rock. Boozer's never been there. Anyway, got a lot of ghosts down here. It's time to move on. Fresh start, eh? Yeah, I can respect that. Now go on. Leave me be. I got some thinking to do. Sure, Mike. Yeah, whatever you say. Just have Ricky radio me if you need something. Deacon, hey, is everything okay? What's wrong? Uh, actually, that's not why I'm here. Okay. Came by to see if there's anything you need for the uh, infirmary. Actually, we're running low on everything. I mean, we could always use more meds, sterile bandages, instruments. Uh, here. Hmm. Liston knife. Yeah, it was used by doctors in the Civil War to perform operations in the field. Operations? Yeah, you know, when they didn't have any anesthesia or laudanum. I wrote down where you might be able to find one. <laughs> it's the brochure for the visitor center at Sherman Sherman's camp. camp. Yeah, yeah, the plate's crawling with all the freakers. I'll see what I can do. Yeah, uh, Deacon. Thank you. Hey. Oh, here's that knife you were looking for. Thank you so much. Yeah, no problem. All right, I'm here. Jesus, don't... Don't sneak up on me like that. Did you find anything out about Sarah, about the woman that I put on your chopper? Nothing. Nothing? Hey, hey, wait, 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 wait. It's gonna take some time, okay? I'm risking my neck here. If anyone but the back at HQ finds out, the, those guys with the guns over there, You're they'll all order without question. You're the same team, O'Brien. It just looks that way. Look, I don't have time to explain it right now, but... It's why I need your help. My help? D look, just take it. It's a, it's a wavelength recorder and some GPS trackers. I just need you to... We're out of time. Look, I... Shit, I don't even know your name. Deacon, Deacon St. John. Well, look, Deacon St. John, if you want me to risk my neck helping you find whatever her name... Uh, Sarah? Then, yeah, I'm gonna need you to do something for me. Okay. Keep the radio close. I'll contact you in a couple of minutes. What do you want me to do? Each of these research units have a science guy, like me, guarded by a bunch of goons. I need you to get close to the researcher. The wavelength recorder is set to the channel we use to record data. We record everything they're doing. Okay, so you want me to sneak into an LZ filled with heavily armed Kevlar wearing soldiers who shoot on sight so that you can spy on some asshole wearing a pocket protector? Pocket protector? I see I have a fucking PhD, asshole. Stands for piled high and deep. 
you still have the tracking devices I gave you? Well, I was gonna sell them, but most of us don't have access to shit like that. Like satellites. Yeah. Place one of them on their heels. Almost all of these filed missions include stops that aren't on the books. I want to find out where they're going next. O'Brien. You don't need to ask. I'm already looking into what records we have about where evacuees were taken. O'Brien out. <laughs> this just gotta be it. What the hell are you guys doing right here? still alive. They're not my boys. And what do you care? Aren't you a... What do you guys like to call yourselves? Drifters? Don't you kill the infected for money or whatever shit you barter with? Yeah, I kill freaks, but I don't carve them open while they're still alive and listen to them scream. Did you get my data? Yeah, I got your data. Okay, I'm uploading it now. I'll be in touch. O'Brien out. Brian? O'Brien! God damn it, he did it again. Well, Brian, talk to me. Ah, shit, you better be in touch, O'Brien. Hey, I came by to see how the lazy bastard's doing. How you doing, uh, booze man? Are you are you tired of laying around yet, boozer? Hey, you can't be in come, here, on, come on, hey, come what's on, come on, come on. How's he doing? He needs his rest. Uh, don't mess around with me, Addy. I asked you, how was he doing? I'm good, I'm good. Uh, not good. Damn, it's cold. The anti They're not enough. <laughs> Never enough. No, wait a second. You said that I, I said that we would try. <gasps> Look, all we can do is wait. Okay. All right. Deacon. No, Deacon. there's. Uh, you Deacon. know what? There's Deacon. something I can do Deacon. about this. Stop. I can get. Stop! What? I know you want to smash something. I see that look yes. in your eyes. But well, you know what? You go right ahead, but you do it out there. Daddy, go. I can... Look. <sighs> there is nothing else you can do. Please. Just go home. Go home, Deacon. Ah. Uh. Dick, Dick. So, are you gonna make it? Yeah, Schizo, he'll be fine. I just, he needs a few days. Come with me to the lodge. I wanna show you something. I got shit to do. I'm sticking my neck out here. Trust me. You're gonna wanna see this. Just, just listen. A couple of months back, this drifter comes into camp, telling all kind of crazy stories. Said he worked at the airport, was on the ground back in Farewell when shit went down. One night, they were expecting a flight in from Portland. Only it never shows up. The plane was doing a haul for the Red Cross. The Red Cross? Yeah. You getting it? Medicine? Doctor shit, cargo hold full of it. Maybe even some of those uh, anti uh, whatever the fucks. Antibiotics. So this drifter, he's working in the control tower when the plane disappears off the radar. Poof. Now you see it? 
No, you don't. Right about here. South of Mount Washington. That's what he said. It came down intact. A controlled crash or whatever. The guys got to listen to the pilot bleeding out from a broken pelvis on the ground. Okay, so you haven't sent anyone to find this? Nope. Why not? Because the old man won't have it. Iron Mike, what the... Oh, right. Rippers. <laughs> you catch on quick. Everything west of the Iron Ridge here belongs to Carlos and his merry band of bald-headed freak alikes. Oh, shit. So you go over there and you get caught. You head north, brother. Otherwise, Iron Mike's treaty with rest in peace goes... Psh okay. yeah, no, like no, I, I get it, I get it. Let me ask you a question. Why are you telling me this? Oh, wait a minute. First off, I'm not telling you shit. You remember that? Second off, you're a goddamn drifter. What am I supposed to do? Follow you around like I'm your little bitch, keep your ass out of trouble? All right. I have things to do. I get it. You're just a regular stand-up guy, right, Schizo? Just trying to stay alive. Like everybody else. <sighs> hey. You do what you gotta do. At the end of the day, that's all we got. Do you know what I'm saying? I know what you're saying, Schizo. Keep your radio close. I'll be in touch. Schizo, it's St. John. I'm at the border. You see any of my men around? No, Schizo, it's clear. Look, how much time do I got? Time? Time for what? All I know is I got a card game going on with a few of my guys. A couple of them maybe that should be out on guard duty, but I'm letting that slide. If I had to guess, I'd say we'd be playing all night. So until morning, got it, Deacon out. Take that.
I do. These will fix him up, and then we ride out of here, head north, like he said. Deacon St. John, you there? Deacon, this is Ricky. Over. Damn it, I can't let her know I'm out here. Hey, Ricky, this is Deke. Uh, you're breaking up. I can't hear you. Oh, sorry, Ricky. I don't have time for this right now. Wait! That's Deacon. Behind him! You, you, right up the road and make sure they don't come back. Now! Left of it, yeah. What was left of it? 
Hey, I heard gunshots. What's going on? We had a run-in with a few rippers, but I handled it. You handled it? What is it? Wow. I should have known. You should have known what? Jesus, Ricky, who's running security here? You know, I ask myself that shit every single day. I'm done here. Good. So what are you doing out here? What am I doing, Dick? Addy told me to come and get you. Why? Wait, hold on for a second. Is Boozer okay? I don't know. We gotta go. What's wrong with Boozer? All I know is Addy told me to find you. When I asked around, I found out you and Schizo were heading up here. Now I know why. I don't know what you're talking about. The crash site? The medical supplies? It's no big secret, D. I and Mike were negotiating with Carlos, making a deal so our camp would split it with the Rippers. Oh, bullshit! What do you mean? I mean bullshit! I was there. Had that cargo hold's already been looted. Tracks from the crash site all head south. You know, I've been dealing with the fucking Rippers for months. You can't trust a goddamn thing they say. Now you're sounding like Schizo. Schizo, he put you up to this. He told you about the crash site. <laughs> yeah, great. So now you're calling me Schizo's errand boy. No? Then how'd you find out about it? A drifter up at Copeland's camp. Like you said, it ain't no big secret. Yeah, right. Schizo's been trying to pick a fight with the Rippers for months. Guess it's lucky you came along to do it for him. So let me ask you something. Can I stop you? Last time I saw you, before last winter, you told Iron Mike to go fuck himself because he wouldn't pay you to bring in survivors. It's not exactly what happened. I remember it pretty clearly. Iron Mike said he'd have nothing to do with slavers. Okay. We never forced anyone to come in against their will. How about Tucker? Same thing true for her? I don't know. You ever think when you roll up on someone, starving out in the shit, maybe hasn't slept in days, reach the point where they stop running from men like you, you ever think they don't have a choice? But you took them to the hot springs just to say, earn a few camp credits. Everybody's got a choice, Deacon. It takes us a lot, too, bringing in someone who can't work can't earn their way. You know, you just be glad that Iron Mike isn't like you. William. William, if you can hear me, I need you to stop. Addy, what's going on? Loser. Go and hold him. What the hell are you doing? Listen, what are you doing? Listen, Not we need to do arm. this and we need to do this right you now. What? No. Don't you... Oh, don't no. you take Deacon. it! No, no. De no, you're not... No way! No, you're not gonna Deacon, do this to him. listen to me! The antibiotics will save his life, but nothing on God's earth is gonna save the arm. Now listen, I need you to help me right now, or you can just watch your friend die. Okay. Eddie, we're losing him! Stay away! Deacon. All right. All right, all right. Come on. Hey, pal. Hey, pal. All right, hey, I just need you to stay Hold with him. me. Hold him there. Okay. Hold him. Deke. Deke. Okay. Hold him down right there. Okay, okay, okay. Ah! Ah! Oh, my goodness. Ah! I'm losing. No, no, no. He's losing too much blood. You gotta stop. He's losing too much blood. Hand me the gun. Ah! 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 Oh! No, oh, no. Boozer, come on, man. Come on. Oh, there. You're okay, pal. Where? Oh. Where do I hold him? Just hold him like this. Stop panicking. I'm and hold crying. <sighs> hey. You did good in there. When I was in high school, I thought, hmm, maybe I should be a mechanical engineer, or should I be a surgeon? I guess I should have been a surgeon. <laughs> And you. Hey, hey, okay. You know, you saved your friend's life today. I don't think he's gonna see it that way. Yeah, well, I think he will. I gotta go and give him his IV drip. And you know what? I don't know where you got all this, and I don't want to know. But it's gonna save a lot of lives, Deacon St. John. A lot of lives.
I gotta go help Addy. Mike, just settle down, okay? Deacon! Get out here! <clears throat> I heard what you did. I wasn't about to let him die. Mike, let it go. It's done. I know that, God damn it. Who's are gonna live? I don't know. But the Ripper saw you. Followed you back. When Carlos finds out about this, there's gonna be the devil to pay. Carlos can go fuck himself! You are writing checks with other men's blood! I hope you're good with that. Did what had to be done. Mike, wait up. Deke, I've been uh, thinking about what you were saying about doing something to make a difference around here, pay back the camp. I'm listening. Do you got a few minutes? I want to show you something. Yeah, guess I can spare you a minute or two. So where are we heading? You ever been up to the caves north of the lake? I know. Come on, see if you can keep up. Okay, let's go. I got Marsh duty anyway this morning. Gotta see if any freaks are stuck in the muck out that way. When's the last time you went up there? Been a few years, I guess. When I was a boy, we used to live in that damn cave. My old man sort of fancied himself a geologist. Sounds like we got a couple. Freaks stuck in the mud, I mean. Yeah, sounds like. Here, let me take care of them. All right. I guess I can let you do that. Nice work. I think Schizo's just found a new man for the job. You know what Schizo can go do. Anyway, as I was saying, we spent hours talking about how all these caves were formed when lava flows would harden on the outside, but the molten cores would still flow like buried rivers. You got the big caves that drew in the tourists, like Metolius up there. And there's way more than that. Riddled all over these parts. Okay, okay, we're coming up on the highway. We gotta be quiet. me out of here? Smell a bunch of goddamn freaks? Yeah. Okay, okay. Come on, follow him. Wait, wait, wait. Follow him? Where the hell are we going? Let's see. Come on. Don't get too close. Stay down. Just what the hell are we doing, Deke? This doesn't seem all that smart, even for a goddamn drifter. Hold up, hold up. You remember telling me about how the tourists used to flood up from California in the summer, choke off Highway 97 and the I-5 freeway? Yeah, in July, folks smelled almost as bad as these here freaks. Well, you weren't wrong about one thing. These freaks, the big groups, the ones that some call hordes, I think they're the reason we can't get their numbers down. What do you mean? Think about it, man. I've been out here in the shit collecting bounties for more than a year. Loser two, Ricky, Schizo, a few others. How many freaks you think I killed? A few. A few. Yeah, but their numbers never go down. You got a point? It's these hordes. Every night, there's a steady stream of them up and down the Sandium Highway. Thousands of freaks pouring into the Lost Lake Valley, north of the Cascades. And you think they're coming up from California? Highway's closed off. No one's been south of the Sentium Pass in years. It's not closed off to the hordes. Freaks are the reason it's closed off. Anyway, the point I'm trying to make 
is that the hordes come in every night. Not a goddamn thing we can do to stop them. Well, you got that much right. Lost more than a few men trying to back in the day. Yeah, I know. I was there. And every horde that comes through leaves a few stragglers or gets busted up and scatters and, and just like that, freaks everywhere as far as the eye can see. <clears throat> yeah, you, don't, you don't need to see them to know that they're around. We figure out a way to stop the hordes coming through. Maybe we can make some headway, reduce their numbers. Make it safer. Free up more farmland, irrigation. Yeah. Okay, so how do we do that? You know goddamn well you can't take on a, a, a whatever you call it, a, a, a horde? This is how. I'll be goddamn. Yeah. They stand there all day, hibernating or whatever the hell freaks do. So what are you thinking that we. Yep. We blow it the hell up. Stick it down to my there, there, and there. We'll bring down a mountain of rock. We seal this shit up. Yeah, so we trap a few hundred inside. What good is that gonna no, do? No, no, you don't get it. We seal this cave. Maybe they don't got no place to sleep. Or maybe this trail of piss and shit dries out, goes stale, and others stop coming. Yeah. All right. All right. You got my attention. Okay, come on. Let's head back. up a bit let's see if you can keep up yeah okay tell me when does being out in the shit make you an expert on freaks you spend your spare time just following them around seeing what makes them tick not exactly and how do you know about all this about what a horde's gonna do where they sleep a few days ago I was riding north of Belknap crater when a chopper flew by a chopper? What the hell? Just listen to me. It was a black chopper. One of those Nero choppers that used to fly all over the goddamn place when the shit was going down. And you saw one? Still flying? I followed them. I stole one of their radios. I've been trying to track them down, see if they have a base around here. Supplies. Shit, I mean, see if the feds are still alive. You know what I'm saying? They're out here doing field work of some kind on the freaks. They're studying them. They got resources to do that while we're out here starving, fighting to stay alive. I followed them up to the grotto caves. You know the ones? Yeah. They had motion sensors set up, measuring how many freaks used the cave during the day. And, uh, Mike, it was thousands. That right. They said freaks all up and down the Cascade Range, south of Crater Lake and north up to Smith Rock, all used these lava tube caves to hibernate. So, we blow up those caves, maybe we have a few less to deal with. Hey, this idea of yours, it's got some merit, but... A job like that, it's gonna take a fair amount of TNT. He said you wanted help making Lost Lake safer, this is how we do it. There's some things I gotta do, okay? But you meet me at the bridge in a couple of minutes. I know where we can find some. Ready? Where are we headed? This time you're gonna have to trust me. Okay, where are we going? Mercury or something. That's right. Cinnabar. They extracted mercury from Cinnabar. Folks back east think it was gold mines out here and silver. Not so. 
Back in the early 1900s, cinnabar was worth more than gold. To operate the mine, you need TNT for expansion, blowing out new tunnels, clearing cave-ins, that sort of shit. And to own TNT, you had to register with the county, keep copies of the keys to all your lock boxes with the commissioner. Wait, the county courthouse? Where the hell is that? Thought you knew. It's in the old federal building. The old federal building? The one in Sherman's camp? Jesus, Mike. What the hell? You told me... You, you told me that you were never setting foot in that place again. Did I? I don't recall. You were drunk right after Joe was killed. Did I tell you why? No. Here. Turn right here. This is it. Mike, the place is going to be crawling out. I don't think this is a good idea. Uh, Weather holds will be safe enough. All right. That there? It's the old federal building. That's where we're headed. Let's not go looking for trouble. Stay out of the buildings. Come on. We gotta head over this way. Where are we headed? Just follow me. Key will be on the commissioner. And and you know where he is? <laughs> where his body is? I think I do. You heard what happened here. Yeah. Everybody got wiped out, man, woman, and child. Only a few got out, and, and uh, you, you were one of them, right? Only two got out. Me and Nora. But it wasn't the freaks that took us out. What do you mean? Here. called a truce a meeting right here oh we knew what was coming we knew what was coming and we were prepared fight didn't last long but, but it was bad They had ammunition left after all, and how well, they... Oh, hell, yeah, you can see what they did. Like I said, two people walked out of this town after all was said and done. And some days... the hell one of them wasn't me. Commissioner's over there in the bean counter suit. Go get the key so we can get the hell out of here. 